news was dying of cancer in the hospital, a famous oncologist came to her room with three interns. This patient, the doctor began, before continuing with his diagnosis. Having finished his talk, the doctor started to leave the room when Rose said, May I have a word, please? Yes, my dear, the doctor replied. My name is Rose, not a patient without a name. I am dying of cancer, but I am at peace without bitterness. If I had lived 2,000 years ago, I would have gone to Jesus and asked for a cure. But today, we have research, we have doctors and pharmaceuticals. I trust in their skills, but we are human and will not live forever. It is my faith that keeps me going. I do not feel isolated or lonely. I enjoy the peace and quiet, and I wish you doctors to be all the success in your endeavors. God bless you all. Rose winked at them and closed her eyes. The gospel story is that of the centurion who comes to Jesus with the hope that Jesus will cure his servant. His hope is fulfilled. Rose's hope was based on two things. First, she had a deep faith in Jesus Christ. That hope gave her courage and even peace on days when she was in severe pain, on days when the inevitability of death would cause another to be fearful. The second reason for her hope was her self-awareness that she was a unique, one-of-a-kind image of the living God. It made her bold enough to assert that she was not a patient with no name, lying on a bed to be probed and prodded by doctors and interns. She was Rose. She was loved by God. This deep conviction upheld her as the evening came bringing its darkness. There were no relatives or friends to be with her through the night. In chapter 4, Isaiah declares that the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious. Rose and the rest of us are branches on the vine that is Christ. Reflect on a time when you face sickness or loss, your own or that of a loved one. What role did your faith play in how you dealt with these difficult times? What, if anything, can be learned from the way Rose approached her doctor as she lay in her sick bed? Please join us in this prayer of hope to our Blessed Mother for the first week of Advent. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, Hear and answer them. Amen. <laughs>